Who actually, who remembers the first children's anime? That was like, what was it, like Thomas the Tank Engine or something? No, that was real, but it was just, it was photographed. Dude, my favorite, dude, my favorite is Peppa the Pig. That one British pig, dude. Uh... Uh... Oh, Wilbur? Care Bears? You mean, are you mean Charlotte's Web? Oh, yeah. yeah. Get that intel! Yeah, plus, that wasn't even, plus, 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 that wasn't that even, like, even, like, a shield series, 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 series. Plus, it, it was a Japanese, plus, plus, it was a manga turned, turned into, into anime, anime, so it was not that good. good. Yeah, like... Okay, like, Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what shows make you really depressed? Any cartoon made in the 60s, watching that for three episodes on end and realizing you, you have no other choice but to watch this. Usually at another person's house. I think it represents so much of cartoonism and what it used to be. And then you never talk to them ever again. Did, did I mean like... I prefer Frankenstein. Why? What was that one cartoon of Frankenstein when he was like, what? Stuck in the ditch or something? Oh, I don't know. You know, Frankenstein was the doctor. Yeah, it was yeah, the, the Frankenstein's Frank monster. monster. I don't even think Frankenstein's Frank Frank monster really had a name, but it's just Frankenstein's Frank 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 monster. Uh, I prefer how much Frankenstein's so speaking like the whole thing is just very long. Well, what. Mar Marie Shelley, what, what the fucking bitch that wrote it? She was fucking crazy. She was like, I woke up one day and wrote a book! Like, that's actually what happened. Wow. And then her husband was rich, and... He was like, yeah, honey, you're smart. You wrote a book. From a dream you had. I have a, dreams a thousand times weirder than that shit. I don't well, write I mean, a frickin' hey, book about she, it. She, I mean, hey, she, she, she serialized it into, into a book. book. And, and she's... she's uh, uh, now, now she's, created she's created one of the most well-known war monsters, 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 so you know... So you know well, yeah, but that was also crazy, at a time... She, she still did something. Still did something. That was also at a time when, like, if you had a dream like that, you should go see a doctor, and the doctor will prescribe you to bleed for 30 liters. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and then you usually die from that. Never so, know. that kind of story never gets out. But she's like, I had a dream that no one else had ever. And she had resources, which is exactly the reason why Rebecca Black was a thing. She was god-awful, but her parents had money, so... Actually, speaking of which, there are a bunch of kids, of kids nowadays who have, like, their parents just spoiling them and crap, it's awful. I want to sing a song! Okay, you can sing a song. Oh my God. I want you to get me eight, 80 million views on YouTube. Okay, you can get 80 million views on YouTube. It feels like those Call of Duty Mexican people. Oh, I mean every gamer ever on PS3? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> And their their name either includes Jose or Carlos or the initials J or C somewhere in their name. Like Jose Gaming, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> Jose Gaming. I mean, like, I don't want to offend people, but what I'm saying is true. Fucking cringy. Does anyone remember when Spongebob first started? Way back in 2002. 
I'm and the episode was the worst ever. Dude, I'm Dude, pretty I'm sure it started sure all the way back, back in like, like, like say, 1980. No, actually, no. I no, think it started back in 1922. 1922? Yeah, 1922, man. That was, uh, well, the first Spongebob. Nickelodeon episode was in 2002-ish. It's kind of the novelty. Kind of well, look at freaking Cars, man. They made two, two fucking movies, and they sold so much merchandise Three. that it's crazy. Oh, yeah. I believe. I agree with you on that one. But look at fucking Frozen now, too. Look at that shit. Oh, Frozen. Yeah, Frozen was not the best anime. It's not Frozen. a good like, movie. Honestly, it was just it was overhyped, overhyped garbage. 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 It's like even too overhyped than what that game, No Man's Sky. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I was you actually, know, one, I was of actually one of the suckers that bought that, bought that game. game. Well, was it good? It's good for, it's the, good first for the first two hours. hours. <laughs> oh, I see. Damn. I mean, they did they release did a new update, update like, like adding base, base building, building and, and create, create creative mode, mode and it's kind of neat, but, neat, but it's, it's not, not, it hasn't it really added, added that, that much. much. Yeah, true. I agree with you on that one. I agree All right, with you right. on that one. I'm, I'm leaving, leaving the key. See, see ya. What a guy. <laughs> true. I agree with you on that one. SpongeBob started in 1922. <laughs> the most kills I've ever gotten in one uh, one life is 20 as the demo man. 30. You know what makes me mad? 30 as an engineer. Oh, nice. You know what makes me mad? What? What? They removed... SJWs? No. Well, yeah, that too. It's like every time I see. Uh, Every CTS. time I look around, I see your face. Yeah, dude. O only pre-game kills are the only that matter, man. If you're not oh, killing yeah, them totally. pre-game, like once I, once the pre-game's done, I just leave the match. Sometimes it's hard to find a pre-game match that timer is full, but once you do, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pre-game matches are everything. I just fucking leave when it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Guys, we are playing against a uh, team who one of their teammates has a Zynga app profile picture or app icon as their profile picture. I think we're gonna win. Uh, it sounds great. Every time I look around! Say something about Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Hey guys, hey guys remember, remember the show Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel Air? Dude, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? That's like the Nutshack sequel, right? Oh yeah, oh, totally. Yeah, totally. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, and shooting some b-ball outside the school when a couple of guys, they're up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little bite, my mom got scared. This is my thing. I said, you moving with your auntie and Uncle in Bel Air. I begged and pleaded with her day after day, but she backed my bags and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss and she gave me a ticket of open Walkman all to set us might as well kick it. First class, yo, this is bad, drinking someone's juice out of a champagne glass. Is this how the people of Bel Air living like? Mmm, this might be alright. I hailed for a cab and when it came near the nicest place said fresh with the dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was weird, but I said, yo man, whatever, go home into Bel Air. Do 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 I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I said to the cab, yo home, smile later. I looked at my kingdom, I was finally there, but to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. You're welcome. I had to do that. Yeah. It's mandatory. 
It's the only song I've memorized. Do you actually have a YouTube channel? Do I actually have a YouTube channel? Fuck yeah, dude. I wouldn't do that humiliating process of putting it in my name if I didn't. Love Shack! Love Shack! Hey, did you guys hear how they're trying to rewrite the uh, the song uh, "Baby It's Cold Outside" because it has too much of a rape vibe to it. Wow. True story. Like people don't like the fact that it says, um, "Say what's in this drink," and so the rewrited version says, um, "says." I really should go, and then the guy says, I'm okay with that. It sounds really pathetic. Ow! Oh no. Oh no. Don't molest me. <laughs> 30 frames and better than you. Wow, I had 30 frames and I still killed you. Sounds like he's playing it on his mom's laptop. I have like 100 frames. Yeah, me too. The only thing limiting me now is my fucking human eyes, man. Like, if I could fucking perceive at 100 frames per second, man, I'd fucking do it. I'll get my fucking cat over here. Dude, my 60 hertz monitor, I can totally tell a difference between 60 and 100 hertz monitor. It's called, I have an FPS jumper. That's how I tell the difference. I have an FPS jumper. Someone should mail 30 FP. Someone, sh someone should mail uh, 30 frames a better PC so he isn't running at 30 FPS all the time. Why don't I mail him 64 megabytes of RAM? Or maybe it's oh, all yeah, just dude. an excuse. Maybe he's just saying he gets 30 FPS so that when he actually loses. He doesn't look like a complete fucking fool. I don't know, man. You guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. If you don't, I will kill you in your sleep. Alright? Okay. Goodbye.